What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tavion and I'm back again with another video. As you guys can see by the title, I'll be doing a story time on how I got this scar. Well, it's not a scar yet or whatever. It's a burn. How about this burn? It happened like a week or two ago and yeah so in this video i'll just be telling you how it happened what happened after the whole story on this bird so without further ado let's get right into the video right now nothing can cancel the plan i said it was last week friday last week friday Alright guys, so it was on a Friday and on Fridays we don't cook. Most times we don't cook, we order food or we get food from the restaurant. So my mom told me to get both lunch and dinner from the restaurant and because I would normally get barbecued sauce, barbecued um, wings but uh, I never wanted to get saggy so I ordered spicy wings instead. So, and I said that I would have just make my own sauce when I got home. Like, I would have used ranch or something, or I just use a barbecue sauce from in the cupboard or whatever. I ordered, I got the food and I came home. I ate my lunch, gave my brother his lunch and whatever. So, we're, you know, we're in quarantine now, so curfew and all of that. And I was in my room. So, my mom came home and I was about to bathe actually. And I decided everybody got to home. My mom was home, my brother was home, my father was home. And my big brother, my older brother, so I came. I'm referring to my older brother. So I decided to just go downstairs and tell him hi before I go to get my shower. I'm downstairs now, living my best life, um, chatting, all of that, all of that. So me, you know, I'm, I got hungry and I decided that I'm going to eat now instead of going to bed. So I asked, I take out my food, whatever, I put it on this plate. I asked my mom to make the barbecue sauce for me and she said, no, actually, I was going to use my ranch and my mom suggested that she would make um, the barbecue sauce for me. So I was like, yeah, no, I would have preferred that, blah, 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 blah. So she, I took out the stuff out of the cupboard and I asked her to make it for me and I said, well, what, 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 what. My mother makes the sauce, but she, she said that she was cooking it in the microwave, right? Why am I laughing? This is not even funny. Anyways. So she said that she was going to cook it in the microwave. So I think she put it on like six minutes or six minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure. And our microwave is powerful. Like 30 seconds is like one minute. So we normally just like, you can warm your food on 30 seconds and it's hot. Anyway, you know, she's cooking the sauce in the microwave instead of to do it on the stove. Me now, the sauce finished now, you know, and it, the microwave goes off. So I decided that I'm going to take my sauce out of the microwave and let me tell you, the microwave is kind of on, it's high up. It's not on a level, like on the counter or anything, it's up and I'm short, I'm, I'm short, okay? So whenever I'm taking something out of the microwave, I have to stretch or tape or whatever depending on what I'm taking out. So I get the hand towel, dish towel, whatever you want to call it, the little cloth thingy. Yeah, one of those to hold the bowl that the sauce is in because I know it would have been hot for the whole long it was in the microwave. So I got one of those now and I'm taking the sauce out of the microwave. I'm stretching up to take the sauce out of the microwave and the bowl tilts and everything well not everything the sauce spills directly onto my hand like i don't know if you guys can see but this is where even run come down to like i'm holding the bowl so it's like oh so hard to show this anyway the sauce spills onto my directly onto my hand none spills in the microwave at all and nowhere else but on my hand so I scream out no, no. I was like, ah, what? And but for some reason I was aware of what I was doing. So I put, luckily I put the ball down before I actually move and run off. I placed the ball down because I could actually make everything even worse and just mess up everywhere, mess, get even more burns on my body or whatever. So 
it was good that I was aware enough. That that makes sense. Manani, whatever. It was good that I was alert enough to, you know, cook the bowl down and not spill it all over the place. So now I'm screaming, I'm screaming, my mom is in the kitchen, my father is around the back, and my brother is also outside. My older brother is outside and my small brother is in the house. So I'm just screaming, I'm screaming, I'm screaming, my mother, my mother heard her come around, she's like, what happened, what happened? And then she started panicking when she see the thing on my hand, she just like, come wash it off, come wash it off. Then I run over to the sink and she wash over, I'm, not, I'm just screaming, I'm just like, <laughs> yo, I'm screaming, yo. That, that was the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. Yo, it hurts. So I felt like I felt like not only my hand was burning me, but my whole body was on fire. So now I'm just screaming, my mother washing the top. My mother running up and down. My father is just like, my father run come to the back gate and he's just like, what happened? What happened? What happened? I'm still screaming. My mother run gone upstairs and doing I don't know what. My older brother now explaining to my father what happened. Everybody run come inside. I'm on the floor rolling. I'm just like, <laughs> what? I'm just screaming. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. I can't stop screaming. I just scream. So I just scream. I just scream. What? What? Most people, I get mad. I can't see what. I'm literally just. I'm going off. Yo, I I literally don't remember. I don't remember what happened after the after everybody came inside of the kitchen to be honest because all I really remember from everything is the pain because even when I came from the the hospital I have to be as well I'm just like did I throw away the sauce in the microwave or what cuz I yo all I could remember was the pain I don't remember anything that happened number four I'm screaming I'm screaming I'm screaming I'm rolling I'm rolling I'm rolling and everybody's just trying to calm me down, my mother running, Some, go for the fan, go for this, go for that. There's this thing called Neosporin that we use as well. Um, for like if we get cuts, it works really good and it heals our cuts quickly. And yeah, so it's called Neosporin, but it's oily. Mind you, it's oily. So now I'm screaming, my brother is trying to lift me up on the floor. My mother told me that at one point, I just went silent. So my father, my brother, my brother said my, my legs just drop, everything just drop, and I'm just silent. And then I just get wild again. I'm gonna start screaming. I know this I'm smiling a lot, but I'm this yeah. This was painful. It took so my brother run gone for the fan, my little brother that is, my mother run gone go get the new sport. So them try running my hand under the water, under the pipe again. At this point, my hand, my skin, it's moved out of place. So my hand is just a mess. My hand looks a mess. It's horrible. So them try get me to the sink again, and I'm just as I tell you, I know I'm gonna stop screaming. I know I'm gonna stop screaming. <laughs> Other than the points where I got si where I got silent, I'm screaming the entire time. I'm just screaming. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. And then like they're trying to wash it up. Yo, I'm so weak from the pain. I was so weak. So my legs are just failing me. And my father is just like my father started getting mad doing it because he's frightened and whatever. And he don't know what's happening. And well, he him know what's happening. But you know when you're frightened. And you just don't know what to Yeah, that was my father. He just cussed me up. He just like, I have foot burn. I have foot burn. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Mom tell her people, we probably think somewhere extra, but no, this pain was some different level. So now the neosporin that my father put onto the burn cooled down the pain. The pain was still there. It was still strong, like. I still I feel the pain. It's hot. It's hot. After a while, like you cool it down for like five minutes, say. After a while, my hand just start burn me. So now they rush me to the hospital. 
we come out of the house now, everybody run out, rush me to the hospital. In the car, I'm just like, <laughs> still crying. It's my little brother, me, my, my mother, and my father. My brother was still here, my older brother was still here. So they rushed me to the hospital, and in the car, I'm still staring at Tancho. We got to the hospital, um, then they did the whole fever thing, testing all my mask, I'm stepping in. And so now, they were explaining to me now that the reason that the, 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 the nearest point that my father put onto my hand made it even worse because it trapped the heat into my hand. Because oil, but they said I should I just run my hand under cold water for, for 20 minutes? Whatever, 20 minutes and then come to the hospital. So, tip to anybody who ever gets burned, hopefully nobody ever gets burned, <laughs> but you know, just a tip, run your hand under cold water and don't put any kind of ointment onto your hand. I'm, I'm at the hospital, I'm waiting to be treated and I'm just there, I'm still, my, my heart, oh yeah, my heart is racing. My heart, my heart I move like a horse, my heart just... I do the most. Yes, so told us that the ointment to help to trap the heat and in all of that pain they had to wipe off the ointment because my father squeezed the whole bottle on my hand you know because you know he's just frightened. He's frightened. Everybody frightened and he just want to calm down the pain quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. So him squeezed it all out of my hands. So anyways, I had to wipe that off which hurt a lot actually it really did hurt so they had to wipe it off and then they gave me the silver and whatever some kind of ointment on it instead of that and yeah when the doctor came to see me now because that was a nurse who dealt with me um oh big up to auntie jeremine she was at the hospital as well um yeah she's my friend she's well she's my mommy's friend and my friend's mom but yeah, she's a nurse, big top shot nurse at that. Anyways, yeah, she was one to treat me. <laughs> Guys, this boy just come in here and frighten me. <laughs> so um, she was the one to actually take care of me at the time. The nurse who looked at me, there was somebody else there. I don't know what she name, but anyways, big up to them. Mhm, mm cause they were really nice to me. And then when I went to see the doctor, no. Let me tell you, first of all, this doctor is annoying. He annoyed me the whole time I was so annoyed. It was like, he was on his phone, on his phone, he barely paying attention to me. I you know me not paying, so I'm just miserable. But I don't know, probably I'm never that bad, but... No big up to you, sir. Anyways, he was just on his phone the whole time, and walking up and down and you know when they're just not explaining what's happening or telling somebody what you're doing just getting up and going leaving go and go your business but if just did I do that I just did that and I but I was just like don't time I was just like to my mother can we go now um he came around and he wanted to give me an injection so when I saw the needle he never said anything you know him come around and I'm just like do I need to get that is there any other alternative from me getting that needle in me right now and he's just like um are you sure you don't want to take the injection i'm just like yeah what else can i do instead of to get the injection i hate needles i hate needles i want a tattoo though but tattoo needle different than <laughs> um so he suggested panadol and i said okay and he gave me some so I'm there now. We have to wait like three hours now for him write the prescription. He's on his phone again doing what I don't know. The whole time we're just sitting down. He's on his phone. We're waiting. Nobody's talking. We're just there. I wait. And I'm end up on him phone, you know? I'm just say, what do you do? Can you like tell me what you're doing? So, if you don't know what prescription to write, just tell me, say, Give me a second, I'm just checking out a few, you know? So, anyways, he's just there on his phone. So now he finally finished writing the prescription and I get it. He said that we could I get some stuff around by the, at the hospital. So we went and got what we're supposed to get. And the lady, 
the nurse around there she asked me why i never take the injection and i was explaining to her that i don't like injections she was just like i really think you should take the injections because tonight that pain that you're going to feel is not going to be normal you should really because the panadol is going to wear off quick and them take longer to start working she just explained it to me why i should really take the injection so i said fine i really didn't want to get the injection but i did take it and i got it in my butt up to now my butt still hurts yeah um yeah that's pretty much it this is how my hand looked at first so um it's much better now it's not that bad as it was before and i'm going to keep treating it i ordered some lulu products and hopefully my hand comes back clean as ever but yeah guys this is the end of my sad story i hope you guys enjoyed it or took something from it like the fact that you're not supposed to put ointment on your burns after right after you get the burn or you're supposed to run your hand under water for 20 minutes yeah i hope this was entertaining for you interesting enough for you to sit through and watch and if you did watch through this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe yeah as thumbs up is a like but yeah subscribe share comment down below what other kind of videos you guys would like to see and yeah guys please please share the video share it with your friends if you liked it post it on your instagram tag me whatever you do you know whatever you do just share the video and yeah that's pretty much it be sure to follow me on all social media platforms at tavion for my personal instagram page brushed for my business page and tavi underscore coco for my snapchat thanks for watching guys bye okay. Is he kiss me the lyrics for kill if you think me kidding me? I kill him since you're in the beginning for a wicked